It's time to drop the puck and face off with a Rapid City Rush presented by Miller Lite. Welcome to this week's Hockey 101 where we are off ice. One of the things that these guys do to keep their bodies right before games and practices is rolling as well as stretching. And here to kind of go over it with us is Scott Brannon. So talk to me about rolling. What is it and why do you do it? Uh, rolling is kind of like a personal massage. It doesn't feel as good, but uh, it keeps uh, your muscles loose and uh, helps you feeling good. You know, even you just did it, crash your back <laughs> a little bit, so it uh, keeps your body feeling nice, I think. And there's different kind of rollers. So you've got like a pipe here, and I get, uh, I get the nice cozy foam one. So, yeah. so what's the difference? I started out using one of these, but uh, after a while, it didn't really do much for me. I upgraded to a PVC pipe, which really will crack your back and I find gets a little deeper into the muscles and does a little more work for me so everybody likes different things some guys use uh, baseballs or uh, lacrosse balls depending on what you like sounds very uncomfortable but let's go over it and and show me what you do all right let's start with the back all right so put it in your lower back okay lift your butt up okay hands over here and then <laughs> just roll down using oh your legs my goodness. It is kind of nice. I'll give it to you. It's sort of like yep. massage, painful. We'll crack your back. <laughs> All right, so from the back then, what do we do? Uh, I'll switch over to my legs. All right. So <laughs> I go one leg at a time. You can do two with that one if you want. All right, I think I will do two. All right, so start at the bottom by your knee. Okay. And then put all your weight on there and then just use your hands and Whee! roll. <laughs> And it helps this loosen nice. up your... So if you're sore, this totally just like pushes out you, all the acid. If you have knots and, and all that stuff in your legs, this will help uh, clear them out. So then from the front of the legs, then where? Uh, I go to the side. Side. I do all. This one hurts a little bit more on oh your IT band. I don't so. think I can roll myself. <laughs> oh, ow. Yeah, this one this hurts. is nice. That means your IT bands are <laughs> tight. <laughs> Apparently. All right, so from rolling, what, what do you do next? I know that you have these bands, so you, you, yep. you stretch them out. So let's, so, let's yep. go over that. So I'll roll first, and then right. I'll grab these bands. Okay. Loop around your foot. Just one. Yeah, one foot. All right. Lay back. <laughs> Oh. You want a little bit of bend in your knee? Oh, God. This is for the back. <laughs> I'll hold it for about three seconds, then I'll go to the side. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't even touch my toes. This is painful. And then from there, I'll go to the other side. All right. Yeah. I see why you do this. It's really <laughs> painful. So then you switch legs and you do it that way? Yeah, I'll do about five reps of each on each leg. Okay. So over. Back over. All right. Five times, and then I'll switch. Well, I'm feeling loose. I feel like I could go play a hockey game right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Scott. That'll do it for this week's Hockey 101. He has 10 goals, 29 assists, and 39 points on the season so far. Sitting down with me this week is Matthew Brisebois. So last week, you guys had a huge week against Allen. Came out with four points. Talk about how huge that was for the team. Uh, yeah, for, for the race in the playoff, those four points were really huge, like you just said. Um, we, we went in this weekend and we knew we had at least one, one or two to, to have points for the playoffs. And we just went in, worked hard, and ended up with a, a four points, so that's pretty good. And on Saturday, you guys rocked those awesome specialty jerseys for St. Patrick's Day. Um, you scored the first goal, first power play goal, I believe. And um, you are also second in power play points for defensemen. So just kind of talk about how strong you have been on the power play this year. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy when you play with good guy like Schultz, Cody, they're just giving you right on the, on the perfect tape and you just need to put it in. So no, I mean, it's, uh, I need to get credit to, uh, credit to them. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> you started your season off uh, with the Indy Fuel, and now you are here with the Rush. So kind of talk about the transition, and is it hard at all kind of trying to find the chemistry with a new team? Um, not, not really. Like, when, when you got traded, uh, I mean, it's probably for best for you and for the team. So when you get in, I, I think everyone is happy to have you in and just make you walk, more than welcome. And we're all fighting for the same thing, uh, making playoffs. So, I mean, it's, no, it's pretty easy. And you have signed with the uh, Chicago Blackhawks, correct? 
Correct. So you were on a, you're on an NHL contract, and so you've played in the A, and now you are here. So kind of talk about that. Uh, last year I was playing the AHL, like you just said, uh, for all year, and then this year uh, Chicago made a couple of trade, and they had a, a lot of veterans. So they, instead of playing one game out of two in the in the stands, so they just told me, yeah, go um, in the East Coast uh, and prove your defensive uh, side, and uh, next year maybe you're gonna come back here. So just for improving my defense. That's very cool, and I know that was a goal for you, right? Yeah. To, to get signed is, is, was the big goal, everything you worked for? Yeah, when, when I was in junior, I was working every day to get signed a contract and end up paying, so. Um, talk to me about how you got involved into hockey. I know you said that you didn't really like it at all when you first started, so no. what changed? I, I don't know, my dad at first was like, yeah, I want you to play hockey. So he put me on his skate and I was just crying to get out of the ice. I was like, no, I can't do it. And a year later, I was just seeing all my friends playing hockey. I was like, oh, well, maybe I should go back in the ice. And I went back and since this time, I, I just want to keep skates on my, in my feet all the time. <laughs> and your dad's had a huge influence on your life, got you into it, obviously. So talk about the role he's had in your life. Uh, yeah, all my life. And sometimes it was just... I didn't want to go on the ice. I was kind of more want to play with my friends. I was like, no, you need to, uh, to go on the ice and prove it. So I just listened to him and end up paying and signing a contract in the NHL. So I'm more grateful for him. And talk also about the role that your grandfather has had. I know that now when you play, you, you kind of uh, think about him. So just talk to me about that. Yeah, when I was young, it was uh, almost at every game for me. It was cheering in a stand and I was really close from him. And I think it's four years ago, he passed away. And since this time, it just when it's hard for me, I just think about him and help me pass through a lot of hard moments. And how do you kind of help, uh, or what do you do, I guess, to deal with the stresses that come along with the game, the winning, the losing, the ups and downs of the season? Um, I have my, like, my routine. I'm a little bit spurtious. I don't know how to say that. It's a pretty hard word for me. Um, like When I came in the ring, I have my routine. And just following that kind of make me more comfortable. So just does just help a lot. And I know you have something at home, right? That that helps. Yeah, yeah I have my dog too. Uh, back home when I when I have a hard game or something, and just mad, and I came back home, and he's just so happy to see me. So it changed my mood right away. So yeah, it helped me. And what kind of dog is it? It's a huge Alaskan Malamute. His name is Jack. Oh, very cute. Oh, I love that. <laughs> um, Talk to me, what else do you like to do outside of playing hockey? I know you, you like to be out on the water, which we don't have out here, but, but what do you like to do? Yeah, I like, play, I like playing uh, golf. Uh, I do that a lot. And also, uh, back home, uh, I have a boat, and I do a lot of wakeboarding during summer. Cool. Also, you, we can tell from your accent that you also speak French and English. So how hard is that to kind of be bilingual? Uh, at first, it was really hard. Like uh, I wasn't sure what were the past tense, and it's really like opposite from French. So at first, it was a it was an adjustment, but now it's kind of more easy. I talk on the phone with my dad in French, and then talk with my roommate in English. So I'm kind of used to it a little bit now. That's very cool. I wish that I was bilingual. It's a, it's a yeah. cool thing to have. Yeah, I think yeah, that's pretty useful. <laughs> yeah, I bet. All right. Well, thanks so much for sitting down with me. Make sure you keep it here. Mark Benetti is going to take a ride on the Ferris wheel. All right, Mark Benetti, it is your turn to take a ride on the Ferris wheel. 60 seconds of rapid fire questions, and your time starts now. What's your favorite candy? Butterfingers. What's your favorite movie? Miracle. Your guilty pleasure? I uh, don't really have one. Who can skate fastest on the team? Uh, that would have to be Dylan Clark. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Would you rather have the ability to be invisible or the ability to fly? Fly. Who has the best sense of humor in the locker room? Brandon Martell. Your favorite type of music? Uh, Billy Joel, anything written by him. Favorite song? Piano Man. Your best pickup line? Uh, trust me, I used to be a scientist. <laughs> Who on the team has the best hair? Joey Sides. Give us your best Joe Ferris impression. Marcus, Marcus, it's unbelievable. What's your favorite part of being a part of the Rush organization? Um, the great players I get to call every night and the fans. If you could be any animal, what would you be? A wolf. Favorite NHL team? New York Rangers. Your dream vehicle? Uh, probably be a Sapphire Blue Mustang convertible. Blondes or brunettes? Both. Who has the best shot on the team? Me. Tell us one thing that you have to do as the broadcaster before every game. Listen to Piano Man. All right, congratulations, Mark Minetti. You survived the Ferris wheel. Awesome.